The first one is about breathing numbers. And for those of you that don't know about breathing numbers, after this, Google it. Why so Syria? Why so Syria? That's what I'm asked all the time. Why so Syria? Because in Syria, the children still smile. They smile at the dirt they play on. For them, it's earth. They don't know Hums from Damascus, from Amman, from Haifa. For them, where they sleep is home. Why so Syria? In Syria, the children still play. The rocks haven't become archaeology yet. They're not in Masani nor Ba'at. For them, it's their playground. And they go to sleep, they go to sleep with Zayet and Zatir and sometimes just a stomach that's full of water. For them, negotiation, for them, negotiation is just asking Jeddah for one more bedtime story. Why so Syria? And in Syria, the children still seek spring. They don't care if it's United Nations or Arab Spring. For them, spring is just a season. A season when the snow finally melts and the earth finally smells and they look for the, Baharat, for the Basharat Mashakkale before it becomes dry again. And they think they will go to school one day or what was left of school before it became a bomb shelter. Why so Syria? Why so Syria? Because in Syria, every day, childhood dies. Children die. Lives die. And yet, and yet, in Syria, a little girl giggles more than she smiles. And in Zatari, in a tent, Raed decides to get engaged. And Rania has a baby who she names Jihad because it's not all about Jihad. And Jabbar and Asim and Jamil still roar in laughter when they hoot, when Cristiano Ronaldo pretends to die while gelling his hair. And in Syria, life still thrives. Hope still lives, and that's why Anna so Syria. Thank you.